I'm the lead artist at the Young and Art Museum, and today we're going to be doing some fun art. So let's get started. Today we're going to be making a Roy Lichtenstein inspired painting done entirely on bubble wrap. So this is stuff that you find in packages. If you order a lot online, you can find these in packages. I did find the ones that are really, really tiny, but you can also make this using the regular size bubble wrap. You will need bubble wrap, scissors, a pencil, a marker, some paints if you have, a paintbrush, a q-tip, and optional, if you don't have paint, you can use markers. Regular coloring markers are just fine for this project. All right, so let's get started. What's really nice about this painting is that you're gonna get to customize all of your colors in quite a few different ways. So we're gonna begin by drawing on a piece of paper our drawing for our painting. So for my example, I have made a very simple flower by drawing a circle and some petals around it. I also added a stem and a leaf. And also what's optional, but I'm doing it for the sake of the video, is I am outlining in a black marker so that I can see it through the bubble wrap. So as you can see, I'm putting it with the soft side up, meaning the bubbles are on the bottom. It's nice and smooth on the top so that I could trace my drawing. I am applying some tape so that I hold it down to the paper and it doesn't move around while I'm tracing. Using the same black marker, I am just tracing the design onto my bubble wrap. Now be careful because the marker, it dries quickly, but not so quickly. So if you touch the marker while it's still wet, it is gonna smudge as you can see here. The other option is to directly do this step in black paint. Then you're going to remove your bubble wrap from your original drawing. And we're gonna be beginning our painting process. Now you can grab your Q-tip and use some acrylic paints. You're going to dip your Q-tip very carefully and you're going to dot whichever area you want to be that color. So for example, for the center of my flower, I am dotting the bubble wrap itself in yellow. I'm using a spare little piece of paper that I had to wipe off the Q-tip and I'm going to reuse the same Q-tip for all of my colors. Next, I'm going in with some red and I am dotting on my bubble wrap. Now, to remind you, this is the actual side of the bubble wrap that the bubbles stick out on. I did my original drawing on the smooth side and I'm coloring or using paint on the bubble side. continuing with the leaf and now I'm going to start with the background this is a nice project to do while you're listening to music or if you are playing something in the background I was listening to an audiobook while I was working on this piece. Now, it is very important that when you're working with acrylic paints, you're making sure you're not getting anything on your clothing because it is permanent. So now we're gonna let it dry, and once it's dry, we're gonna turn our bubble wrap over. So this is the smooth side. And on this smooth side, I am just outlining my black lines in black so that they're extra bold. Now I'm beginning with another color in the center. So since I used yellow on the bubble side, and I'm using orange on this back side, when I flip it over, it's going to make it look like it is a light orange and the same with this blue so since I did red in the front and the blue on the black on the back from far away if you squint your eyes a little it looks a little purple next I'm going on with the leaf I added some yellow on the back and green in the front to make it look like a light green and for the background I'm adding yellow everywhere so it looks kind of like a light yellow background. 
This is a variation of the same project, except instead of using paint, I'm using marker to outline and fill in. I recommend that if you are using markers to do this project, uh, to use dark colors so that they'll show up properly on the transparency bubble wrap. What's nice is you can also reuse the drawing that you did on the paper over and over with many pieces of bubble wrap. That way you can have the same project done in different colors. So once my paint is dry, my painting is ready to flip over and now you can observe how both sides of the painting look very different from each other. So this is the back side where the colors are just plain one color and this is how the front looks. So it looks a lot more fun, kind of look like the Bundy dots that Roy Lichtenstein is very famous for in his paintings. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you try this project out. You can make this as easy or as difficult as you want. And remember to have fun. So thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time.